An interesting aspect of to the structure prediction has been CASP experiments. It started in 1994, and the, one of the key persons has been John Moult, and it's been running every two years since then. So the whole idea of CASP is that you should predict the structure from a sequence without anyone knowing how the structure looks like. So it would be blind prediction, and that's what the only fair test. So even if you try to be unbiased, there's always a risk that if you know the results ahead of time, that you sort of optimize your results to be better than you really are. So normally, the idea circuit works like this. It's like in the beginning of the year, the organizers ask the experimental community for structures that are going to be solved soon. And they give the sequences to the organizers, and they keep the structures secret. And then the organizers give the sequences to the community, and they predict the structure any way they want, and then the, once the structure is known, there's some exp expert assessments, the people that look at, the look at the models in the structure and say, assess who did best, or how well did people do. So, uh, so you have anything between, actually nowadays there's some servers, you don't have three days of the predictions, otherwise you have about two weeks, and even a bit longer sometimes. And you can generate up to five models for each target. And then at the end, you have a nice meeting in December where you discuss the results. So it was nowadays about 100 targets, in the beginning it was a bit less, and there are a few hundred predictors, or half of maybe servers, and there are hundreds of thousands of 3D models from the every time. Traditionally, it was divided into three categories the so homology, or comparative modeling, full definition, up and issue, and new folds. Nowadays, the two first categories have more or less merged because the techniques are not so easy to distinguish. And Really, what is good is that this is really an unbiased test. Certainly, it's a lot of engineering because you don't want to miss one target or you know, problems like that. And the, the whole idea has been copied to many other areas later. So maybe the most important influence has been the way that the science is quite different from uh, earlier work. And then you can actually also see progress. So here you can see that there actually was big jump progress. This is like some measure of quality and difficulty. So you see the yellow one in CASP1, and then there was a big jump for CASP2, to pink, and then even 3, 4, and there was even a big jump for, to CASP5, and it continued to be slight improvement, but it's less and less for every year. But you see a few times you've been doing better and better. And you can keep on doing that, and you can study the progress of the field. 